Well, hello and welcome back to another planner related video. This one is going to be the first in my holiday series here for Coco Daisy. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. But if you've been here from, oh, for a while, welcome back. <laughs> and you guys know that over the holidays, I tend to use this subscription from Coco Daisy. Now it has changed for me uh, several times. I've used uh, standard note TNs first. These are their TNs. I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, and then for the last several years, I used A5 ring bound planners. But I really wanted to try the A5 uh, standard TN. And so that is what I purchased. So I'm just going to give you a little flip through here and show you everything. And then I'll talk about how I'm going to use this, but this is their, um, she has different, this is called a dory, uh, and it's just the way, what they call it, and it is already set up and designed for you. So you have all these different pages, wide ones here, and then you have some grid, I love grid, you guys will find out very shortly why, but here's the grid, and you get, I believe you get, is it five weeks, let's count as we're doing this, one, two, three, four, and five, that's right. And the great thing about these is they're already themed for you. So if you don't, if you want it to be a heavily written planner and not a lot of stickers, this is probably perfect for you. Obviously you can do stickers as well, I'm going to. Um, and then you get a couple of blank pages to do whatever you would like. They're like a monthly or whatever. And then here's some more, um, this is so pretty. Some more of your little lines there. And then a couple more of blank pages and then it gets into even more of these weeklies. Now they're set up to be a weekly and here's the line here to divide on the weekend and they're horizontal. If you love horizontal then this is perfect for you. Um, I have for quite a long time, I think you get five more. These are dot and not grid. Well they're dot grid not square grid. So one, two, three, four, and I think it's five I believe. Five. And then you get one more blank one there. So that is that. And then you have the option of the subscriptions, because these are a subscription, you have to get a minimum of three months. So I always get these usually in September and then get them through December um, and use them accordingly. So I did this time instead of just getting the, the um, inserts, because you can do that, it's very affordable if you do it that way, but I added on the, um, the planner subscription, which this is what it came with this month, is you get these different pages here, look at how pretty that is with the trees, I guess it could be this way. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, this is, I'm just gonna show you the designs. Like, um, it's really pretty. And then this one here as well. So that's what you end up getting with the pages. And then I put everything in this little bag so that you always get something different. It's not always the same thing. This one just happens to be the pouch. Sometimes you get um, little notebooks and other little things. So anyway, I just stuck the rest of the subscription in here. And I've opened everything up so I could check it all out, um, obviously. So with every one you get a pin and usually the pin matches the subscription as you can see. It's really, really pretty. This one is a Cocoa Daisy. I don't know if it says what kind of pin. It has the daisy on top, really pretty. And we have a band for your planner, which I will probably be using for my Hobonichi. And then you get a clip. Not Again, like not always, sometimes it's other items. And then there's other add-ons you can get. These are post-it notes. This is the washi, which is again really pretty. And then you get some different die cuts and tabs. I'm putting everything in here as I go. These are just, and this is the sticker portion of it. So you get the stickers. There's a tab right there as well if you'd like that. Um, again, they have a couple of different sets. So you can do this like for your monthly and then for your d dailies or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. And then you also in here is a refill for your pen. And this is like a little pen test sheet here for stamping and the ink. And then you also, this is just a regular notepad. Really, really pretty. Everything is very well done and designed. It's just lovely. Um, so I use these for the last several years for my holiday memories. And I have ordered um, some other sheets, but they did not come yet. But I wanted to get this set up because it's October now and I really want to use it. So. Okay, I decided to go ahead and speed this up and voice over it because it was over an hour long. I get a little chatty, but all I'm doing is just looking through the papers and picking the one that I want to put on the cover. And I'm really just trimming it down by eye. I've done a lot of these, so I'm kind of used to it. I've, so I'm just eyeballing and going ahead and trimming it down. I picked that because I really love the branches and the falling leaves. So I like to have a little bit of an edge of the craft paper behind it. And then I'm using this other plaid one to... Um, to put on the back. That's what I have decided to do here. But I am thrilled, you guys. I've already planned the first week in my planner 
in this planner here as I am watching this and I love it. So I went ahead and got my tape gun. It's my ATG gun. I will have this linked below for you guys. I just got it on Amazon. Um, I love it so much. And then I buy the big refillable packs of like 10. I'll link that below for you too. Sometimes it's hard to find. But then I have to go ahead and replace it, so I'm just kind of showing you here. Online, how I replace it, super easy. Um, my little discs were a little bit bent, so you just kind of have to fiddle, fiddle with it until it gets going. And then I just wrap it around. There's like a little section there to wrap it around. I cut it off. It Mine's a little bit sticky, so it kind of holds that on there pretty well. Um, that's it. Now, I made this too loose. I didn't tighten it enough, so I'll go back and tighten it later. But anyway, super easy. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on. And I enjoy the look of this. I think it's really ends up being really, really pretty. So, like I said, I like I just like the little edge of the craft paper. And then I'm going to grab my um, monthly book, and that's my monthly book where I have all my different monthly um, items in here. And you can see this was a voiceover at first, but these are all the things I I stick in here. So like October, if I have any monthly kits or if I have any monthly decor like this, it goes right there for the monthly setups. So I have several different planners, and I found that this is the way to keep everything organized. So if it's anything relating to the monthly, then that's there. Now I'm just kind of talking over my thoughts here. The first page I'm going to use for a monthly, and then the other is I'm going to be using for my time section. But uh, I left this in here. I end up taking all of this out, but I decided that maybe you guys want the idea, so I'm going to share with you. I was going to use a sticker kit, but then I realized I really just wanted a section with timed. So because they have the two parts, they have the one with the grid, the uh, square grid and one with the um, circle grid, the dot grid in the back. I wanted to have a time section and then I want to have a photo section. I'll explain more when I get to it. But I have seen, a, there's a lady I watch on YouTube, I cannot remember her name, Rachel. I think it's Rachel Plans. Um, she did this with her Stology. She just kind of put um, Monday on the one side, then Wednesday, and then centered the middle one. And I thought that was just genius. So that's what I'm doing here. So I just left this part in here. Again, you'll see me take all this out. But these are the timed insert strips that I get from Coffee Monsters Co. She made these for the Erin Condren to kind of make, turn that into a hourly. And I have loved these. I use these for everything. I have I use them in my Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I use them in here. I've used them in, I've used them in every, a lot of planners. And they're just they're great. They're just quick and easy. And you get two weeks per per um, sheet. And when she has a sale, grab these up. They're they're great. And I just end up buying like 26 so I have enough for the whole year. And then it's, it works perfectly. Anyway, I go ahead and put the washi down here at the bottom. Um, again, I end up taking the date covers off. This is removable paper, which is why I picked this kit in the first place, just so that I could have an option to kind of see what I wanted to do. But I end up leaving the washi down there at the bottom. But I end up taking everything off so that I can leave it all the same. So I decided I really want to just use this part more functionally and not take the deco. So I'm looking for more date covers and date headers and this is when I'm realizing oh this may not be I may not want to use that kit. And then I'm looking at the different things that I have here and realizing that I want to use what I what I already have. So I'm going to end up taking that off. But these are from Shop Jessica Hearts when she was Shop Jessica Hearts. Now it's just Jessica Hearts. And I've had them for a very long time. I don't want I just haven't used them much. They're glossy. I'm not a fan of the feel of glossy but since I don't have to write on them you know it's okay and they the colors go really well and again this is where I decide no I'm just gonna save the kit for another one but like I said I think it's good to see other people's like thought process in their errors or their mistakes or they're not this is really there's no mistakes in planning but you know just kinda see what my thought process was and I realized that those little date covers you'll see me use them in the back but they were just too small for this section I really wanted a larger date strip and I have a stash, so I'm just trying to use through my stashes. That's my goal for 2021 and 2022 is just to use what I've got. Um, I've really got to collecting so much. And these are from XO Mama Plans. They are her um, $2 Tuesdays. I love her $2 Tuesdays. When she has seasonal things like this, I tend to stock up because you can use them anytime. They don't go out of style. And I find with her stickers, they don't lose their sticky. I don't know, some, especially glossy, I find loses its sticky, but... Examama Plans, her paper is fabulous. And I do have a coupon code for her, you guys, in case you don't know. It's Tanya15. And then I'm showing you, I have these old Poppy Willow date cut strips, date covers. 
I actually got these when my girlfriend Beth was a PRing for her, so it's been a while since she's done that. But so that's how long the, I've had these, and they have a little bit of foil on there. Again, I don't really mind. I just wanted to have something that matched the colors, and luckily I was able to find a few things. So <clears throat> I feel like some of these were just made for it. The colors just match so beautifully, so I was really lucky here. Um, but I know that you can buy um, sets of colorways from Exomama Plans. And that's probably what I'll do when I, if I continue to use this and run out. For now, though, like I said, I just want to use my stash, use what I have, and I have plenty. So, anyway, her, like I said, her stickers are just fabulous, Exomama plans. But, uh, yeah, I'm using, I'm just kind of rotating between the date dots, whichever one matches the color strip the better to me. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm sticking those acorns in the bottom. They're so cute. I might use these again. I, I have a couple of these, so I might use these again in, in November. Because I definitely plan to do this again in November and December, and then I will decide from there. But I'm just, I was going to do like a, a collection of different stickers here. You can kind of see me looking at them, going, maybe I'll just do that. But then I decide uh, not to. Again, I left all my decisions in here, just so you guys could see like what I was thinking. And I'm looking for other headers, and then I found these, and I wanted to stick with them, so that's when I decided to go ahead and pull these off and just save them for another time. And I'm just kind of trimming that off to put all these back down. I'm just kind of pulling off a little section there, so I can put all the date covers back down in one in one spot. So I'll have them for another if I ever decide to do something crazy like this again. <laughs> but if not, I don't mind not using those couple. And then th these here, she has a this week and then Monday through Sunday. So you get eight for each week. So and these are from Exomama Plans. They were a $2 Tuesday, but she has them available now as well. So again, just putting those across the top to finish the last week of October. And then I'm gonna, I decided on the other page, that's where I'm just going to put the Halloween over there. Um, and then... I really want, I'm, I'm excited that I actually have a full day there because I'm going to do a lot of different um, planning for the, the day of Halloween. So we'll get more into that. And then I just kind of paused for a moment and went and put all the date strips down. And then I started doing my weekly. I set up my week, my, sorry, my monthly. And I just, I'm showing you that I just used my Hobonichi as, as a guide. I kind of just marked it and then put it in there. And then I, I was, my, the cover was coming back up. So this is another day. This is the next day. Um, the cover was starting to come back up, and so I decided that I just wanted to use a little bit of washi to put down on the bottom. So I'm just kind of looking between the two, simply gilded there, and that's the one that came with the kit. And I think I ended up going with the one with the kit, right? I think so. Nope, I went with the simply gilded. <laughs> you guys, I should know this. It was only a couple days ago. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I'm just kind of pressing it down. It does start to come up a little bit, so I end up uh, getting my glue stick. Those are fabulous as well, and my Amazon cart below as well. So... The cover is from a Salty Katie on Etsy, and I got it. I was showing you that I got it for my um, Hobonichi cousin of Beck, but then I just, I'm really a neutral girl, so this is really outside of my comfort zone a lot, but I really, I so I thought, well, you know what? It's a memory book. It'll be fine to use, so, but I would prefer like a clear one. We'll see, but anyway, I'm going through and looking to see what I want to do what scripts I want to use and then I decide I want to do a, like one of those my, in the, the old school flags like fla down the side because I'm not going to use the sidebar truthfully um, and I'm just uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and stack some washi here and there kind of deciding what I want to do I'm looking through my washi collection because I just don't know which one I want to use but I, I used to do like three or four down the side and Anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this new one from Exo Mama Plans. It's her Mickey, but I felt like the patterns clashed. And so I'm going to go ahead and use that one. But then I, I th you could see the lines of the washi through it, so I wanted to go ahead and use a smaller one first. So you'll see me go ahead and lay this down. And I end up doing it the other way because I don't want to lay the other washi over the glitter. So I'm just going to put it down there like that. And then I'm going to do the little bow ones. Again, there you go, you guys. I'm using my my wash the, the glue pen. Those are so great. And then it doesn't even budge afterwards. So anyway, I think this ended up looking really, really pretty. And then I'm going to take some of the stickers from the kit, and I want to kind of put on top of there. So I take the October first, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some of the the falling leaves and kind of 
put on the top there. I think it ends up looking really pretty. And I'm going to put a pumpkin right in the middle. There, and then I'm going to go ahead and use those for the top. I was trying to decide if I wanted to, to do start with Sunday or Monday. And again, I start with Sunday, and then you'll see me again go through and, and switch. I really want this to be a Monday start. It's just easier for me to do it that way. Um, so that's what I do. I have to move everything over because I really want it to be Monday. And, the, and I have a Sunday start on the other one, so if I need to reference that, I can. But I just wish that the, ma the months would match the weeks. And also, this way, it makes it so that um, I don't have to do a, divide the Halloween and the 24th. I can have its, it can have its own day. So it ends up working really well. So I just paused it and put down the, um, the numbers and the little washi on the top there. And then I'm just kind of showing you guys, they have different tabs there, different ideas of things for different pages. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do. But this one's Halloween, so I'm going to leave Halloween there. And on the back here, I'm going to be doing, that's going to, I'm going to go back and show you those in a moment. But on the back here, I'm going to be doing a page, a, uh, fo excuse me, a photo a day. And so I'm just kind of looking through what I have to see what I want to do. Um, I had some checklists. Anyway, you can see that's where I end up using those, those date scripts. But I'm going to do a photo a day, and I want to kind of write about that photo. So I pulled these out from Examama Plans, a $2 Tuesday. And you guys, these colors were just made for this kit. So I start to lay them down. I was counting to see how many I needed and I, to make sure I had enough days. And then I realized I have 30 days, but then I'm going to do the 31st on the other day. So we're totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead to continue to lay all those down. And I'm just kind of walking through and showing you how beautiful the colors went. So there's two pages on the back there, and I was debating whether I should change and put the 31st on the back because I have all the photos together, but then I decided to leave it alone. And now what I'm going to do here is I have these stickers I really want to use up. These are, again, are my sticker stash, and I want to do a bucket list for Halloween or for fall. Um, so I'm just kind of looking through. I have this old sticker from Plan to Plan. I've had that for a year, I think, maybe two. I buy them every year, but this one's I had already purchased. So I'm looking through and trying to find how I can set one up because I really want to set one up um, on these pages here. And I have these functional kits. I get this function, these functional kits from Avalon and Ninth is her name. And she has these big kits that you can get every month. And I use them for photo keeping all the time. So I don't really ever show these because I don't, you know, I don't want to show, show a lot of pictures of my grandchild, my grandchildren actually. Um, so I don't show them a lot, but I, I, I photo every day. I get pictures of my grandchildren, I'll put them in a little album, and I use these to match. I'll just take, usually I'll just take one set and then um, and use that. So I'm taking the, the, the alphabet, and I'm putting the, the bucket list on there, and I want them to be a little bit off, not 100% um, you know, straight. And I just you, it's a great trick just to put it on your ruler like that so you can lay it down and you know where it's going to be. Um, and so then I'm just going to take these boxes and I don't I don't want them to be all lined up so I'm going to scatter them out throughout and then I want to put my um, all my little activities there that I'm going to do. It, it ends up looking so cute. I really really love it. Um, you guys, especially having little ones again in the family, it really brings back to life um, the, all, all the possibilities of the holidays, if you will. All the joy and the excitement. It's just, it's like re, its like living again. Just love it. So anyway, I'm finishing my other boxes over here. And I realize I'm short one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. And then I'm just, again, staggering them all over just to make sure they'll fit before I put the rest of them down. You can do that. I just think it look, ends up looking really cute. And there you are. And then I realize I need another one. So I go ahead and put that one there. There we go. And then I realize I have an empty one, but that's okay because I wanted to use the one from there, which says uh, decorate for Halloween. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab from the same functional kit. There's little square checklists, and I want to put those there so I can check them off And as I go. So I think I will do this again for November and December. If you guys are interested in seeing me do another setup, let me know, please. I'll be happy to film one. But I really, really enjoy how this looked. I'm excited to flip through this throughout the month as well. So again, this is really my journal, in case you guys don't know what this is for. It's really my journal and my, my holiday photos in the back. So that's what I intend to use this for. So I'm going to finish this, and then I'll go on to the next page. 
I have more ideas coming and when I get other pages I will be happy to show with you guys. But this I want to use as my currently page. Like I don't know if you guys have ever had a happy planner but that's what I want to do. So I went ahead and made a list of what I wanted and I'm going to order some scripts I think because in my journal I always use these. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order some scripts, but I haven't yet. So I'm just writing down the, the ones I picked. So there's seven on each side, so that leaves 14. So I guess I can tell you guys, because my planner's right here, what which ones I picked, in case you can't see what I'm writing there. I picked, what did I pick? Loving, learning, planning, meal, drink, um, reading, watching, singing, grateful for, uh, working towards quote verse and then I have my two grandchildren's names because I want to kind of write their progress there as well that's my my idea and then I'm just gonna write my currently page at the top um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw some lines and divide those I like to have a little division I think it just looks so pretty so again you'll see me go ahead and draw my lines and I have a it's a Tombow mono drawing pen it's a zero one and I just like I said, I went ahead and drew those and finished it. And that is everything for now, you guys. I'm just kind of telling you this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this, doing a little flip through. Um, I'm really I'm really enjoying it very much. I'm excited. Like I said, I've already planned the first week in here, and it's been fabulous. So I will show a couple little versions here and there as I do. I have another few pages coming as well and things I want to update. So I'll have that coming soon. So thank you so much. Bye.